guys welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video oh yeah in this video i'm going to make another fitted crop top the previous one i made before was a loose one i prefer the loose one but i'm going to make just a pattern for a fitted crop top and these are the measurements i will be using for this tutorial for the fitted crop top I don't know if you can see it properly yeah so guys let's get started is my tape measure my rulers my scissors and my ink of course so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to draft the front panel of this crop top pattern so let's get started so on my front pattern paper for my front panel I took half an inch from this uh, from this uh, pattern paper then on this half uh, half an inch I draw at the long mark line which you can see here so the first thing I'm going to do here is to put in my shoulder to shoulder measurement so my shoulder to shoulder measurement is 16 and a half so divide by two what I have is 8.2 so I'll be adding half an inch to it for my sewing allowance so that will give me 8.7 so on this front panel paper I'm going to put in 8.7 from this line for my shoulder to shoulder measurement my front neck width for this crop top is 2.5 so I'm going to come here like this I put in 2.5 then my neck depth is going to be 2.5 as well because I want the top to be really high so I'm going to rule it out now from here to this place so on my shoulder slope here I'm going to bring it down by one inch from here to here one inch so I'll connect this line from here to this place that will create my shoulder slope so the next step is to put in my hand hole my ham hole is 18 that's my round ham hole divide by two what you have is nine inches then had half, had half an inch for to it for sewing allowance that gives me nine and a half so i'll go here like this i put in nine and a half on this spot nine and a half then i ruler the line from there from this top to this place so i've ruled it out the next thing for me to do is to find the mid spot of this line so nine and a half divided by two what I have here is uh, 4.7 so here I put in 4.7 4.7 then I come in by half an inch so the nice thing for me to do is to connect this line to this spot like so So the nice thing for me to do is to put on the straight body measurement. So from my shoulders here to my boss point is 13 inches. So from here to here is 13 inches. Just mark it. So the nice thing is to put my under boss measurement. From my shoulder to my under boss is 16 inches. Put the 16 inches. Then from my shoulder to the length of the blouse is 18 inches or you can make it 18 and a half inches. I'll make it I'll make it 18 inches. Depend on your preference. You can make yours any length that you want. But I'm gonna make this pattern paper 18 inches for my blouse length. So now the next thing for me to do, I'm going to connect the line from here to this place the horizontal line the next thing for me to do is to put on put on the round body measurement so the bust strand what I have here is 44 divided by 4 I have 11 so I'll go to my bust point here so I'm just going to mark it out so I won't get you guys confused so this one is my bust point measurement and this side is my bust under bust measurement And this line here is the, is the blouse length or the blouse the blouse top length 
so the next thing I'm going to put on my round my measurements for the straight line so on my boss point like I said before is 44 divided by 4 what I have is 11 so I'll go to my boss point here I have 11 so I just mark it as from here I have 11 and mark it out so I'll go to my under boss my under boss is 38 I divide by 4 I have 9.5 so I'll go here like this. I put in 9.5. So my blouse length, my blouse length is 41. That you run but make sure where I want my blouse to sit is uh, 41. So I divide by 4, I get 10.3. So I have 10.3 here. So, have you draw this line? The next thing for me to do is to draw out this line on my chest round there. Yeah. On my chest, I'll draw a draw the line like this, straight down as well. From here to there. So my boss points here, I'm going to put the same measurement of my boss point on my chest line. So I'm just going to simply rule it out so you can see what I mean. So I'm going to cross that like this. Oh, so I'm going to be careful. Yeah. So I'm going to connect the dot from here to there and from here to there. Now I'm going to connect the dot from this place here, from my chest line here to my midpoint and to my shoulder to create my ham hole. So I'm also going to place it like this. To connect the dots from here to there like so then i'll go up there to connect it as well from here so having done this the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to add one and a half inch on these lines here on my chest line or my ham hole or my boss point line or my under boss or my blouse top i'm going to have one half an inch on all of it so i had one and a half here i'm just going to follow the body shape to create the half and a half inch so having had the extra allowance the next thing i'm going to do here i'm going to add half an inch on my shoulder slope for my sewing allowance at the top i'm just going to follow the curve of my shoulder slope and add half, half an inch like this so the next thing for me to do i'm also going to add half an inch or you can add one inch at the bottom here for your also for your sewing allowance as well And from here, I'll roll it out here. So, guys, now that I've I've drafted the front panel, so I'm just going to spread it out. But before I spread it out, I'll have to show you the back panel which I'm going to draft. This is the back panel, and what I did here, I drew out two inches for my zipper allowance. So I'm going to, and this is the zipper allowance which I drew out. This mark here, yeah, this is two inches. So what I'm going to do now is to place this front panel on the back panel like this, behind the zipper allowance, like this. Then I'll pin it, I'll come back and show you. So I've, I've, I've arranged this front panel against the black uh, back panel. So what I'm going to do now is to draft out my back panel neckline, neck depth. So the neck depth you know the neck width is the same thing i did not change it but the neck depth for the back panel is going to be half an inch so i'm simply going to take my my tape measure so from this place here which is my neck i'm just going to take half an inch from here then i'll just create the curve from this place like so to that place 
you see i draw at the back neck there which is half an inch remember the width is the same thing the width is the same length 2.5 so now the next thing we're going to do now is so we're just going to leave the back panel just the same way i'm just going to cost follow the shape of the front panel with the back panel i'll just follow the shape i'll just trim 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 this way then trim this way so for the back i'm just going to go through the zipper allowance like this then just follow the shape like this and trim trim at the back side i'm going to trim the knock the front neckline i'm going to raise it up like this this is the back then i'll trim off the front neckline like so i'm going to take out the front panel because I need to trim the front panel ham hole as well. This is the back panel, so I'm going to fold this out because I'm true with it. So for the front panel, you know the sleeve was inside. So I'm just going to trim, trim it off like so. It's not covered inside so this is almost the end of the tutorial so the next thing i'm going to do here is to just uh, draft the sleeve i did a lot of video on how to i think two videos on how to draft your sleeve pattern have a, have a look at that video so that's the sleeve you can use for this ham hole the sleeve i drafted that in the sleeve the basic body sleeve you can use that sleeve and measure it up to your elbow and you can use that sleeve pattern to draft out your sleeve for your crop top for your fitted crop top guys so check out my video on how to draft your basic body sleeve that's that is the pattern you're going to use for this so this is one of the this is my sleeve which i've done for my basic body sleeve so if you want your crop top sleeve to be before your elbow you simply just measure it out use this formula which i use and measure the length that you want normally my length is nine inches for before my elbow you can use that and just measure it from here like this because i'm not going to cut this measure nine inches and roll it out and what you do you simply attach it to this crop top so it's as easy as a b and c so guys i hope you like this tutorial if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hopefully i will see you in my next video so for now one peace one love and bye for now